yes. This is still Imperial grounds. I'm half tempted to stay here so the guards don't drag me out and try to tax me or something. If you don't want to stay here, we can always go to the logging camp. I did offer that to you. Yeah. No, I think I can make it home. He's done receiving treatment, yes? I believe he is done receiving treatment, yes. Do you need a roll for that? No, the wounds I spot on him. Just yeah, checking. definitely. However, the god's not here yet. Okay, then I'll just wait here while I rest up a little bit before I make a decision. Just checking. That? checking, Soma. The Northman we brought in is still comatose, right? I believe so, yes. All right. Hey. So he's going to be all if right. If something's changed about right, that, then Mr. I can Soma. try and at least let you know. He's going Nothing's to be fine. Changed. I bandaged him up. I bandaged him good and tight. <sighs> if anything were to happen to him overnight, or if anything else like that happens at the given such, my clamps will be ready on the go. He will be alive no matter what the hell happens, especially on my watch. Told you I wouldn't let him get to you. What happened? Questions for another time. What matters more is that you're all here safe and sound. Yeah. Where's Tang? Homa. Yes? Speak to you for a moment. We're out of the city. All right. Nothing I haven't been through before, okay? Crowding the infer- yeah, yeah, no. I knew you that you would say that. It's- I understand uh, that he has family that wishes to see him, but if we have more people coming in, I'm not going to work around him. And I'm only I telling know. people once. I don't care. I know. You need to move. I know. I know. Exactly like what we talked about. <sighs> we'll set him up outside until that given meantime, and I'll uh, have him be handled within your care as he is going to say. If he walks right on back to his place, I will make sure of that myself. Very well. Whatever he wants to do, will be done. <laughs> you can help him. Of course. But if he plans on staying there, you folks can't stay here all night. <sighs> I know that for a fact. All right. <sighs> if you need Shiriko, I'll carry you back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can help anyway. If you need me to get you food or water, I'll stay with you the entire night. Once I know if this bandaging has taken effect, I'll know what to do. Understood. Might need to let a god know. <sighs> a god must know. A god must know. Sounds like the surgeon's job. Yeah, I'll get one. I still have that gift for you. There is one on the way. Present. Bandage given to a major injury. Uh, stabbed through the gut for Sharik. Yep. Plus four. I was the one that treated it. Yep, five plus four. Got to adjust in time, Soma. You see no right. issues. We'll just need to rest it off. How am I looking, All right, Soma? Thank you. <sighs> you got it. From, from as of right now, I did it just tight and quick enough to which the blood shouldn't be pouring out whatsoever. It would have been worse if it was a few seconds later. But he's doing fine now, from what it looks like. Only a few minutes in, and I can already see that the bandage is taking hold. He should be doing fine, and he should recover within the next few days. 
You're a lifesaver, Soma. As always. Yeah. Like I said, <sighs> you have to tell me, though, whether you to be staying here or to go back over to your place. I won't take up any beds. <sighs> hey, shriek. I will personally make sure that you get back to your place. It's very kind of you. I mean, Wolf, I've done this a lot before. Here, move over. Please let me walk. Let me keep my dignity. <laughs> Don't touch me. It's okay, Wolf. Let me take him. Yep, let's get this Let's okay. go. You can lead the way if you want. Let's go. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Soma. No problem. I'll be right behind y'all. And that's how it's done. Cousin, what's your uh, choice here? What's the question? Between Dazzik and Nora. Alright, would you rather be trapped on a rowboat out on the water for a full day with Severic you want or your Hero stuff back? I'll come get it. They would be. Oh. I wouldn't be trapped on the boat with them, they'd be trapped All on good? With me. Yep. Might have to go around back, the front door's been knocked down. Yeah, that's what I planned. Also, Wolf, can you back. repair our front door for me? <laughs> I can put it back up. I'll see if I can get Marcus to fix it all the way. Ah, oh, thanks. Shriek, if you need anything, you just let me know and I'll get to it right away. Guessing you want your bed. No, definitely not. Just, um, sit me down on the couch for now. Alright. Thank you, Seth. I'll be back All in right. <laughs> I'll be heading right on back. Anything that happens, please let me know. Yep. Bane? Zim? Shriek? Hello? Uh. <sighs> Shriek? Hi. Scottrick? Hey. Good to see you. Have you seen the Thane? Not in a long time. I think he went to sleep for the night. Aye. There was a, uh, Miss Basil asking about Dazeem. <sighs> Wondering if he's alright. 
What happened to Tazim? I don't know. Oh, fuck. But your front door should be some indication of something happened. <sighs> Guards, kick it down. Harry, seen anything? Only that the Capitano broke down your door. Fuck. Along with, I believe, another guardsman. I thought so I was trying to tell you earlier. Yeah. What the yeah, hell happened? Know. You know how they are. Taxes and shit. Okay. I'll leave him be. I'll leave him be. Just concerned about the Thane and Tazim. Severick. If I need to muster the company, Sharik. Yeah. I'll call you on you. Go to the Carter's Guild and see if the lady in charge is there. Uh, the lady in charge? Okay. Who is this Wait, last staring Guild? daggers at my heart, Sh Sharik? She's just protective. It's okay, Wolf. The Carter's Guild I... is over the, that, uh, that way. It's, it's across the marketplace. On the left hand side. Before the Mercs Guild. <sighs> Did you witness it? This Capitano breaking down the door? Who, me? Oh, uh, yes. I. Well, he sure as hell came out of here. Did he have to see I can tell you the Thane's door is not broken in, so nothing happened on his end. Hmm. Did the Capitano have to see him with him? That door as far as I'm aware. No. Good. Not that I'm aware of. Did anyone do a search in here to see if anything's in this place taken anything? I wouldn't know where to start. It's the first time I've been back in a while. Oh. The Sif? I know us, us Dowie stand our side generally, but since I haven't seen the Thane, I heard about the Capitano, apparently, doing whatever this house. Just don't know if anyone searched. But if they broke in, I can almost guarantee they're watching this place for who enters. Probably. So we maybe came I should dim the uh, maybe I should dim the light in the back back alley. <sighs> Not a bad idea. Just for Probably. extra privacy. <sighs> At this point, we just shouldn't bother with a door. Put like a tent flap, maybe. This is the third time it's been broken down. That's not gonna. That's not going to stop a robber from coming in here at that point. Woe the robber that comes into my fucking house, Harry. Steal your iron, for all I know. So... Am I going to get told what happened? <laughs> or do I remain in the dark? With what? You. On our way back from outside, Bandit jumped out and got me. Ah. I'm lucky. But I'm okay. I see. They're putting it back on the hinges. Fair so enough. At least open and close, but then Marcus can look at it well, tomorrow and fix it up the rest of the way. You want me to tell Miss Basil you made it home? You thought you were still laid out in the hospital. Freak. Yeah, I need the room, everyone except for Swolf and... Hi, I can give you your privacy. Thank you. Only it goes well, Mr. Uh, Shriek. Thanks, Severick. I believe your name was Severick. You want him out too? Yes, please. Out. I can't go myself. Thank you, Harry. Sure. 
I hate to be a bother, ma'am. You haven't seen Tazim since, you know, have you? No. I have not. Last I heard, the door in this house was broken down, and I haven't seen him since. Yes. As far as I know, the Capitano wanted to have a word with him, so instead of, you know, waiting for him to come down the stairs, they broke the door. Well, as long as he isn't held up there at the keep being fucking tortured or something, I guess. As far as I know, he was able to go freely about his day. Good. Okay, he's just busy then. Thank you. I was worried. Did you manage to handle those things we mm. talked about? For the most part, yes. To include having one of the carts. Now, let's see. Refurbished. I will need still the seal. I can remind him when I see him again. I was... yeah. As long as they have it, the paperwork is there. I understand. Thank you. I didn't mean to drag you away from your work. I was just concerned. Considering that I'm, I'm not working, I'm simply ensuring that all things are in order. Considering what was brought to me. Yeah. You both know that if there is something that you need to move, and you cannot have it follow back to you, Willing to give some assistance there. Thank you. We're willing to help you with your endeavors too. Mutually beneficial. There are not many good smiths that have good head on their shoulder. Many people here are driven by coin. Not every. Yeah. I see him. I will tell him you're looking for him. Thank you. Thanks for coming all this way. Of course. Rest well. Thank hmm. you. <laughs> I will also look into paying for the door. <laughs> Considering that the Capitano broke it down in the regard to the curse, so... Thank you. <sighs> right, Miss Wolf. Sit down. <laughs> it's okay, we're safe here. Okay. They still need the rooms, Everick. towards the tavern. If you need me, send Miss Wolf and I'll be here to split. Will do. Look at me. I'm okay. It's all okay. All right? Do 
You've been agitated all day. You want to tell me about it? Just pulling you into him. Yeah, all right. Too much going on. Too much fucky shit. You're doing great. You know that, right? It's hard because you position yourself in the shadow of everyone. As a guardian. Part of it is <laughs> only being seen when you need to be, but I guess people don't see you, if that makes sense. <sighs> well, I can't get that, so... My point is, I watch you, Lisa. I see what you do, and what you go through. Keep an eye on you. Sif. If you're still around. Mm. Do you mind getting the door? I think there was someone there. Mm. Sure. Front or back? Front. And I see how hard you work and what you do. And I know how much you shoulder. The heavy weight that you have. Not an easy thing to do. But like I said, you're doing great. Vesrin and Torty. Yeah, let him in. Give yourself some credit. You've been through so much.
You're not gonna stab me, are you, Virgin? Why would I stab you? You have your sword out. Yeah. Wasn't supposed to be. You two okay? Yeah, we're checking on you. I'm alright. Thanks, Osoma. Something I haven't been through before. Uh, also, is Tazim okay? I haven't seen him since he tried to run me down with his horse. <clears throat> he's so upset that he missed that he's retired for the evening. No, um... The Capitano wanted to uh, speak with us, so naturally that means we have to make ourselves scarce for the rest of the day. So he hasn't been around because he's been, you know, keeping out of the light. Is that what happened to, to you? This? No. No. We were on our way back from, um, well, what we left to do earlier. A couple of bandits jumped out, and one of them got lucky. I see. Regular bandits? More or less. They didn't want to wear any colors, if that's what you mean. Mm. <sighs> What's on your mind? I don't know the way forward from here. What do you mean? I thought that all of the lieutenants were going to go with the Major. It was only the Major and his inner circle, the tolerant ones, that were taken out. On purpose? A party, I see. Yes. What is it now? Why is everyone here? First of all, I'd like to say I'm glad that you're okay. I was worried when the guards on Capitano were around. Oh, okay, cool. It's a fact here. Yeah. I've gotten used to it. Mm. Mm. Shriek's so what been is injured. It? Injured? How? Why? Was it the guards again? Nice one, Severick. No, um, bandits on the road. He needs to know. He's giving you a look that he's given you a lot of times, and the look is, I'll tell you later. Bandits on I the road. I understand. Roads. It's, I'm fine though. You're alive in one piece though, however, correct? Yes, I'm all You're good. You're not dying? No. So I'm a good. cut in me. Um, and I trust your judgment. Vez is what? a little worried about. Something, though. <clears throat> what? Very worried about something. The Major is dead, and... Not his lieutenants. Only his inner circle of trusted, tolerant Imperials. They can't act without the say-so of Grady anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? It's a piece off the board, it gives us time to prepare. His last message was written in blood, and it was a warning to me. Then you built good rapport, and you got what you needed. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, well, it's not exactly a new thing, is it? There are things we have to do. There are some things that have been done that I disagree with, and some things that we just could not help. This is one of those things that needed to happen. What were you going to do? Highlight yourself? I'm already highlighted. So what's one more? <clears throat> Everybody that's connected to you, that's what's one more. Everybody around you that if you did something that got you noticed and killed, they look into the people around you as well. So if you have no care for yourself, at least realize those around you would suffer after you. It's more of a reason to be careful. All right. Good. Then you have nothing to be blamed for. Right. 
and what we do from here. If that piece is off the board, then we have to be ready for whatever the Baron is going to do, the robber Baron. He's going to see a power vacuum, but he might not be able to move immediately. It depends now entirely on the stance of the Barons and what they're going to do. Either they're going to attempt to bring out external help. Kovaz might try to use his men on the council to bring in council soldiers, maybe. The elves might come in mass, but I have doubts of that because that could be a whole kerfuffle with the council itself. Remember, the elves don't have any embassies here in Grothil. For them to bring in a force the way that the Imperials did would be impossible, to my knowledge, at least. Now, while it's true that it's entirely possible the nearby council garrison might be either too busy or destroyed because of what we've heard, the only nearby forces that we are aware of collectively, and correct me if I'm wrong, who the fuck is that? It's Gotrick. Sorry. Ah, very well. Good to see you, Gotrick. <laughs> One more to see you, you in. Yes. Good. Just here is to observe to relay to him. Excellent. The forces that we're aware of that might be nearby, again, is the robber baron's men. We don't know how many they have. We've been told several hundred. We don't know how true that is. The Sordillo Company, around 800 strong or more is the biggest fucking variable in this province. We don't know who they're going to go with. But right now, they're just trying to survive, contending with the orcs that are building up in the crags. The nearest forces would be the Vapex, with their own army, the Kalari, with their own army, and then there are some families north. It is entirely possible that if the Robber Baron is dealing with Blackrock, that he could have a fleet here, if he's got enough silver to pay for it, to blockade the port as well. So he'd be able to besiege from the outside and block our ports. In which case, we'd have to hope that the Galtina Warwolf comes to our assistance, but that means the Council would have to be involved. So all in all, there's not many, many allied forces nearby. However, the only true certain enemy at the moment that might make a move is a robber baron's men we would have time if we heard about the vapex but if they don't know or have not allied with the robber baron they can't just walk into the province he'd be an obstacle we are in a position a weak one but a position nonetheless it all depends now on the direction that we can give or force the barons to take. Suggestions are always welcome. If we can dismantle his... or the... if we can dismantle the corruption under the Capitano, that will that is the hope. break the smuggling ring, or at least make it so difficult that maybe Rafa pulls out of that. And if Rafa switches okay. to paying for the Sordillos in order to indebt uh, okay, one of the brothers to him, then Here's my question. he would have a vested interest in their success over the robber, bar or robber barons. This is a good short-term plan. I agree with you. My concern is will the robber baron or I'm sorry, will Rafa allow us to continue to exist if the Baron is so indebted to him? Will they have reason to be threatened by our presence? And if we make it clear what we're trying to do or what your goal is with that company, will he even allow that? Or are we loose ends to him? I would assume we would be. I'm not sure. But one thing's for certain. A man like him doesn't get into the position he is with the power he has, with the resources that others are starved of, by being a good, just, nor honorable man. At the end of the day, they are pirates. And they have taken that from somewhere, and I believe it is this province. Which brings me full circle back that I still believe that Rafa must have something to do with the robber baron. Supply lines. 
It just doesn't make sense. Who is this Rafa? He's better off explaining than I. He's the one who leads Sawtooth. He's the captain of the ship. I managed to get Strider to stay inside of the windmill. The water mill. He's damaged. Cracked. He's... <sighs> I just want to check in. Just trying to fill her in. I'm managed to break through to him. Sorry. He's no ally to elves. Drow or what elf? I think that he can. He's not like me. He has a mission and he wants to finish it. He seems... That way you were injured. Adult. Like he's not all the... The, the stuttering I, and everything. I don't think he is. He's the, when I got a close look at him, his eyes weren't bright. He had a crack in his faceplate. Mm. He was... Covered in dirt, rust, even his sword was broken. Probably been out for a while, huh? But what's important is, and I can fill you in later, just... He's inside of the mill. Avoid it if you can. I'm going to try to repair him. Give him some semblance of sanity, maybe. But for now, no elves can go near him. Let me know what you Marcus went by you. just fine, but... You keep I don't want anybody else to get hurt. I am not letting him anywhere near the Grove or Fae. wooden blank with writing on it. It says war forged in mill, danger to elves. Let them know. From what I know, he won't leave the water mill. It is a safe haven to him. It's a rest. And... Do you need me to take you back? Do you even want me to? You can stay the night if you want. Be safe here. She does need you. I'll watch him for you. Stay safe. Make sure that they're safe. That's what you're best at, and that's what they need. 
We'll keep watch over him. And we'll meet up in the morning, okay? Lisa. Come here. I was doing really stupid stuff last night. And I made my way into the keep. I found this. Put out your hand. Don't let anyone see it. In your hand is a small ball. It is gold, reflective. Feels light. That is a chocolate. The nobles have it. It is sweet and creamy, decadent, delicious. I got an extra one for you. Eat it when you want, when you need a bit of cheering up, okay? And, uh,. Watch the foil. If people see you with it, they'll get a little suspicious, alright? She's able to keep a lot of things safe. I know. She's been keeping something from me for a long time. We need a bit of a pick-me-up, okay? See you tomorrow. Lisa's light fades out into the alleyway. And after a few moments, she's gone. You think she'll get back okay? I trust her. All right. She'll be fine. And you? I don't know. <sighs> we face so many things together, Ting. All right, we've made it through. This is the same. Is it? I find one of the only other beings like me and he runs a sword through your chest because he thinks you're a threat. Not the first time. Probably and won't be the last. Alright? Don't blame yourself for that. How can I not? You didn't do it. I didn't do it, but I... <laughs> I'm okay, all right? Lisa's okay. We'll figure this out, all right? What if that's what I'm supposed to be? Well, I'm glad you. What if that is what is normal? Well, if we think about it logically, Tang, he's damaged. If he was pristine and doing that, it'd be something else. But that's the thing. 
He said it was his mission. He's been doing this for... The other war forges that people have come across... I don't across know how long. ...have always been focusing on one mission. And in Ellery, protect Goldrick, protect Goldrick. That was what they always said, right? His must be something... He knows that. ...along those lines, but not... I... He's meant to take... We can talk about this later. He's talking about important things, and I think you should hear it. I... <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. Well, you've already convinced him to stay in the mill. That's something. And He's waiting for repairs. Try and repair him. Let me know what you need. Good night. Good night. Shriek. Good night. I'm I'm not skilled enough to put together someone like him. I don't know what would be wrong. I don't. I don't trust the person. Entirely, that would actually be able to. I... To run off into the woods, I left him scared and alone. I doubt he would even want to talk to me. Okay. Well, who do you think could actually help do this? The person who replaced my eye. But the thing is, his loyalties... Some of the worst ones that you can imagine if they go wrong. Who is that? Not out here. Could Dizim help? He was able to put together my arm. I don't think he could put together an entire war forged. Well, he knows how to use tools, at least. Not without plans. And, uh, uh, Morden. He has some of his grandson's drawings. None of the Morov's things like me. I... I... I'd feel a lot more comfortable as how people will do this myself if I could put him back together with my own hands within a heartbeat I would. I know. But I don't have the skills. I don't have the ability. I think the only one that actually has those is him. to ask him, right? I will. But if I can get... He needs to not be alone and he needs to not just be with me. I don't trust myself whether to protect my own kind or protect my family anymore. I... I feel like I'm being torn in half. But you need to rest. You're injured and this, this can wait. Whether behind those doors or... You've dropped so much to do things for myself and Dizim. We're basically brothers at this point. So... If you need anything, hey, if you need anything, I know Tazim has the same sentiment. We'll help. You're not alone in this. We're here as much as we can be. Okay. Then, so 
sometime tomorrow. You will probably need to watch over everything here. Yeah. I don't know what is going on. I don't know how I'm able to help with that, but if I can try with just Dazim and Morden at most. You could at least bring out with And I will, but if it comes to it. Documents or something. I'm not risking her life again. I'm not risking hers or any of them. All right. I'm not losing you all. What about, um. Oh, who's that fucking guy with the glasses? Always nose down in his book. He's Alon. Yeah. He's the one who replaced my life. Then. And he. has safe haven up north. He might be the best bet. But I'm worried what I'll say. You let me know what you want me to do, okay? Or what you need. I'll try and think. Alright. I'll... I can wait outside of the front door of the forge. The door's broken anyway, but... You're welcome I... to stay inside. Let's go back in. Okay. And... You have no idea how much it hurts me to use people's non-real names. <laughs> The metal is cold, Kyler, but you know the fire burns within. Come on. That is what boiled my blood, but I let it go. Uh, How are you feeling, Shriek? Why you did what you did. I am fine. Angry, angry, but I have no right to hold it against you because you have redeemed clean up that blood. Actions. I keep worrying. Rather than words. Yeah, in a bit. And no one improves without making Sit down, I'll do it for you. No That's one. okay. They're yelling at each other upstairs. I have already stood in the darkest part. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Wait before you get comfy. You want some rum? Oh, please. If you were worth keeping alive, or if I would save more lives. I know, or yes, that's a life oh. in space. And now, years later. Hey, it's the only thing I can offer. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'll put hair on your chest. And probably one of the few people. <laughs> I hope not. That do not blame you for what Falworth had you. God. No one was given the full picture. No one. What rag? <sighs> Thanks. In a smaller scale, it is the same Wash thing bucket. as Noble telling a general to take a seat and giving you specific instructions. False hope saying, of course, you can bombard this area. They've already left the civilians outside the walls. The civilians are already evacuated. Can I get them? And this is told to the general because his noble knows he has wounds and he we can talk about it later. I'll wash it in the morning. Thank yeah, you. That's not a keep full of civilians. Uh huh. I just received word from Gerbram outside. I have to wait. Oh. Remember you saying that there was a chance that there would be explosions or something near the archway. But you were never told the scale. Correct. Oh, wait, done. Oh. Oh. done. You might be wrong. What did you get up to today, Torty? What did I do? Really nothing important as far as I can remember. Woke up. Sold me a necklace. 
freaked out. I sold you a necklace. Didn't do a lot of work work today. I, I did work, but I didn't get orders, so that's like, eh. Which is it? I saw you had over I got some coconuts. Anything fun? Yeah. I got coconuts. C coconut? Yeah, no. Maybe coconut. Just... Oh, that's not a Where were you keeping that? It's in my no, bag. it's not a coconut. Oh. It's a coconut. Oh. It's a coconut. Put that line in the coconut and shake it off. Are you going to tell them what it actually is? It's a smoke bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go waving that around, please. I have the light of the fire. Just fine. Don't. But fine. No. I've Don't seen those fucking it. coconuts oh, dropped on the floor there. before. Stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Oops, I dropped my coconuts. Fucking away. But yeah, really uneventful day. A lot of just sitting around and talking. you think I'm without fear when there's no Terrifying what may happen in the next We'll keep things pretty quiet. These are thin ceilings. I'm going to have to make some choices that I don't want to. To preserve more people. Choices like what? Of course, those bridges will really come to it. Jack them would be inaccurate. Oops. This town will burn. Wait, what? I'd say today was a good day. Oh, if Gerbrum told everything to a man, it's going to go from trying to stabilize the province to there being an outbreak. The Imperials will use this as a reason to explain. That's what I forgot to do. What it is that followed us. That's fine. To probably, and then maybe even a man on the Council of the Hope. I mean, hey, at this late, it can't get worse. If they can Would show you them fucking say that, Mark? You piece of shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You piece of fucking shit, I swear to God. Listen, oh my I, God, try not to, I don't try not to red flag everything, okay? I try. See, now Shriek's gonna come over that table and stab me, and you're going to celebrate. And if we assume the worst of our enemy, and they know we're here already, and they're just going to use it as an excuse to flush us out, I don't think that's the case. Well, <sighs> with Raven mentioning this is all information from Ledford, perhaps some I don't may mind know it. of us, but we have no idea if those are the same people. I'm not going to lay down on the barrier. We either take that fucking keep by force and install someone who will obey us until we depart, or we get one of the sovereigns that are in there to finally step the fuck up. Because if they're still split when this threat arrives, we're dead. I don't. I want to save everyone. Shriek, did you want some tea? But I can't. What have you got? Well, there's sleepy time. No. Or, no, Ruth. There's lemon heaven. Or lemon heaven. Yes, I'll have lemon heaven. Please, thank you. Lemon heaven. Okay. Sleepy time is for... Sleepy time. Also, yeah, anyone? Do lemon hem and don't have a dry tea pill. I do not know what ships will be willing to do. Do lemon hem and do you want sleepy time tea? You don't want lemon hem and no, I will have to focus on my sleepy time. Okay. You take lemon hem and put it in the fringes of what you do. can no 
longer be a priority. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, I was going to <laughs> Got him. Said something to me that has stuck with me. That's ever... This is hot, so blow on it. <clears throat> that everything that I love <clears throat> dies or walks. Fuck. That I am cursed. I told you it was hot. I didn't think it was that hot. <sighs> oh my God. Next time, I do not think dip your finger yeah. into the tea. Make sure it's not too hot. You have no stake. No, sure. Fuck. No, no. Ow. It's because, bitch, your hands are more heat resistant than your mouth. That's why. What's the point of that? Actually, the back of your pinky isn't. It's the same okay. heat sensitivity as your mouth. Then, then do that one. <clears throat> Magma in this? No, that's what he does. I guess it's still hot. Why remain? I can't feel heat. Oh fuck. <laughs> Speaking of. That was weird. Well, that that's doesn't sound really concerning at all. Who says speaking of heat and it leaves the room? Speaking of heat runs out the front door towards the forge. Oh, you out of the hell hole. Oh, the front door's kind of fixed now. Still. Another one. Thank you. You'll live longer than all of us. So why throw your life away? I'll have to make a new one tomorrow. Will last maybe a, a fucking fraction of what you'll be alive for. I I I drink. Why? It's still it's dead. dead. It's visible oh, upon your person. Just fucking go, that's all. Shit, you're a genius. Someone, someone needs to walk away from this, Happy. There were more to be done. Stop burning himself. chance and a lot more friends are still alive. <sighs> Dorst said something to me that meant a lot that I did not realize. That 
I could either seek the end of my mission. Has anyone else ever heard of this? To let others bleed. Do, do you want to play dominoes? I don't. No, I honestly it's don't know what you want. It's it's. You just kind of stack them in. <laughs> My pet bear decided to climb inside. Yeah. That one. You have juggled yep. the nigh on impossible. You have been given tasks that were impossible from the beginning to try and complete for a madman that pulled you by your strings. No. I spoke my eye a little from bitch. everyone else. You tried to claw your way out, but you were not able to. Someone far smarter and more powerful did this to you. And when you finally, finally managed to break away, you changed. You were no longer so mad. And the carrot was taken away from you, dangling in front of you by someone who said they would give you everything that you were searching for, purpose, whatever it may be, the power to change the things that you hated. I watched you get left out to dry. I was angry at you for it. I did not see it for what it was. I told you back in Fairhall to tell me. You have been given things to fight, to try and fight and finish that could never have had a good outcome. Do you not see that? This is normal, they're friends. You get used to it, you know? Okay. They're like frenemies. Oh. What? Exactly. Yeah, he, he yells at all of us. It's normal. He yells I'm at saying that Baldrith, or whoever it was, that decided Especially him. on the yeah. day to use you. He says it's for my own good. Uh, yeah, and took advantage of your naivety. Uh, it's not great. In your hope to get the strong. Towards me, he yells internally. So, he says it's building character. Yeah. 
meet their own ends. The oh, goals that, that they gave that you to reach were impossible. That is because he... Oh, oh no. Ah, there we go. It's because he... They did not care, care. I know. He... If you were successful. He should know about you. And they used your youth and your hope to sink their claws deeper. And when you finally broke free, you changed as a man, as an elf. I watched you struggle to be better, to do better, to do more good than harm. I watched that witness <coughs> tell me that's not the case, is to lie to my face and insult my intelligence. no doubt you were involved in things that you never should have known and I will never understand this magic whatever the fuck it is but I have had to judge men by their actions and my father has always said to me that those who make the judgment must also swing the sword are you doing the cup so song? And did judged, you spell T on yourself? <gasps> I made sure to know everything that I could so I did not make a mistake. In my eyes, you have atoned, Percival. And you will suffer for the rest of your life for what you've done. But I think that suffering will make you a better man. The best people, the most patient, the most kind that I have met are those who have known true suffering. Present for the last time. It's below your chair. Think on it. Oh. If you need a wagon, I have one now. Quiet today. If you need silver. Good job, Shriek. Fuck's blowing a horn inside. One of the elven rangers, they have an obvious episode <coughs> named T Rain. Why does he wear a mask? They all wear masks. That's so. Yes. Why the line of questioning all of a sudden? I was worried. What were you doing up that way? Oh, Sheree. Well, you have no reason to be worried. One word. More than that. Thank you for your counsel. I 
main target was. So. Hey there. <coughs> You're whispering about. <coughs> oh, we're playing charades, but don't want to uh, yeah, interrupt you. I'm sure this is Got somebody <laughs> waiting outside. Oh. Shh. Or are we playing charades? What? <laughs> charades. <laughs> Everything okay? Uh, how did your talk go? It sounded like it got angry a couple of times, but you are okay? All right. Hmm. Well, that's good. Hmm. Cool. Well, Marcus had an update from uh, Garbom, but I don't know what that is. So. Oh, that's good news. Uh, hopefully. Ah, uh, ha! <laughs> Ghost cat. Sorry, Hello? Uh, there's a ghost cat on my lap. Zim should be free in a second here. Yeah. I see. I have a report for you. I'm oh, I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. Oh, okay. What do you need? Gerbram was waiting outside, but he had. Well, nothing. You, had you already know why I'm here. <clears throat> Let's go for a walk. He says that. <sighs> if yeah, you sure. For a gap. For a man. Wonderful. Now is the time. <clears throat> Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, blood bro. Of ah. course. Ooh. I will look for anything. Okay. He says if we want to do something, killed myself it's right now. Or never. Ah. We will take the next few days and dismantle the Donatus Might as well. We got word of there being an abandoned port somewhere further past the land. Shriek. If they're bringing in or exporting these letter strip smuggling yeah. goods to cover. What's this for? I think you can. I think you can put a clasp on that and turn it into a necklace. Not really a necklace person. I could make something you could thread it through. Oh, I get what you're saying. You just need it to be a clasp. Um, yeah, that should be too. Need to be able to close around something. Or sub one. I can I, I can make it work. Yeah, I'll figure I've something out. I've already made that. I've, I've already. This is something more personal. Do we do we have to? Okay. After what? Do we have to kill them? That's how they're going. They've been killing civilians. Or are we supposed to look the other way? Forgive me, Severick, but I'm really not comfortable talking with this particular project with you and Ogle. You want me to leave? Correct. That was heavy. No. <clears throat> I can just talk with him about it later. You will have to when Tazim comes down, though. My counsel, you can silence him. But I, I am agreeing with you. <laughs> However, that Sergeant Naraz, I think, will only be dealt with if he dies. I also know that Marcus wanted to have a talk with Yumi and him uh, and Tazim. The one who has been attacking the townsfolk, the one who shot Soma. Well, there's no other choice. More than likely, I will have you and Sharif deal with it. So, whatever you need. Ships and an army, so Brooker, let me know when you have it. I'll go check the storehouse. I think we keep it in the back. <laughs> <coughs> For tonight, what are your orders? No cap. 
careful manner if necessary. Continue to inspect. Do you still have that washcloth? Yeah, you want it? Kobe. If we cannot do this in a diplomatic manner, we will have to storm the keep and install us all. Right. <clears throat> give me a banner. Want any tea we have downstairs? I made a lemon heaven. How's he doing? Not good. Um, probably need some time. Mm. I'm gonna go check the walls of the keep. See if there's anything I can find. Alright. Take uh, Severick with you. Oh, Severick? <clears throat> We're going to inspect the castle walls. I'll take care, Shriek. Mm -hmm. You as well, thing. Shriek! Yeah. I'm gonna wait down here. All right, I'm gonna tell him about what happened. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I have to. <sighs> A lot of meetings tonight. What do you need? Dang, if you could give us five minutes. All right. Understand that the noose is closing. I do. And that we will not be able to save everyone. Go on. I'm asking if you understand that. I do. Do you? Yeah. I know at the core of it, it's you and me right now.
Do you still trust my judgment? I do. No matter how you feel about what I say. I'll never go against you. In the days to come, I'm going to need you to do something that you will hate. But you'll have to trust me. Do you understand that? I do. <clears throat> In a few days, I will need your help to securely transport Mirandel somewhere. Where to? A meeting place, and after that, it's out of our hands. With someone we know? No. Okay. Something tells me this meeting isn't... Good. Don't ask what you don't want to know, my son. Whatever happened to... We're past the I'm asking you to leave the room stage. I'm not asking you to leave the room. I'm saying do not ask something that you do not want to hear. We are bringing him somewhere to someone else. And then whatever else happens is out of our hands. We will be compensated for our trouble. Are you sure? If you're going to ask if I'm sure, I don't have a choice. Okay. If I don't do this now, the opportunity may never rise again. And it can go terribly wrong. It could be viewed as a betrayal, will be viewed as a betrayal. Is it? After everything that's happened and everything I've said, I don't think it's a betrayal. I think it should have happened a long time ago. Well, 
by your lead. I know what you're thinking. I ask you to just trust me. Okay. Let me know when you want me and where you want me to be. Be in several days and I have to be done quickly so no one notices. <clears throat> no one can get involved, no one can tail us. If that happens, the opportunity may be lost and we'll all be dead anyway. It might be the only thing that can save our situation. All right. I trust you. It's not an answer to my question. I don't hate you. You have your reasons. I even said it today <clears throat> to everyone else. You haven't led us astray thus far. It is the only chance, the only way for anyone to survive this. There is nothing else. I have sat in here for nights upon nights thinking of what I could do, give up, sacrifice. I have altered my very mission for these people. I have sold years of my life. And now I have all the pieces on the board and they're all threatened individual lives of people that I have come to cherish and care about that I shouldn't but I do <clears throat> and now from one fool boy it is all about to be swept from the table And this is not something that we can deal with alone. It is not something that we can sweep aside through force of will and hope. I am the only man in history known to have stopped the charge of a cataphract regiment. cost me all of my men. We could not flee. It was an open field. And the order was to hold the line. If we buckled, then everyone else would have been ridden down and killed so I had to choose who lived and who died. Things like this can only be achieved through sacrifice. Through blood. I see the way that they've started looking at me, making these hard choices that I do. They think that I am, what, think of myself as superior. 
that I look down on them. No one else is willing to do this! No one else they can. preach about how they want everyone to survive. They preach about how they want everyone to be able to make it. There is no ending like that! <clears throat> what am I supposed to do? To just sit by. Even if I don't consider what it is that I'm here to do. Am I supposed to just sit by and watch everything burn? Play the cards. Am I those. supposed to sit here? The cards have been nothing but shit. That's the point of the saying. I have tried to listen to everyone's counsel. I have tried to weigh lives and consider what should be done. A great number of our friends and allies would curse me for entreating the elves. No one will save us but us. No one. If we can secure this support, we may yet survive. This is the path forward, then it's the path forward. I had a skull shift his mission to get us in contact with a particular house. He got me in contact with an elven ambassador that was interested, that could be trusted. I have not heard from him since. I asked Mirandel if he wants to live or die. For I could not tell with how he acted. 
And he told me he does not know. I told him he should leave town. But I would give him a cart and some silver. That he should take toward him, go somewhere north where he can pursue his magical enterprise. In case this falls through. The person you're making this deal with. How sure are you that you can trust them? 100%. Okay. We have a mutual vested interest. Should probably bring Tang up here. <sighs> Tang. Sorry, yes. coming up. Forgive me, I'm just resting my right arm. Oh, I do that. Sometimes it has acts up. You know that very well. <sighs> Um, what happened to you? You should probably open. Well, I don't fully understand it, but when we were out and about, I, Faye went into the woods. I was worried about another orc attack, so I followed along with a few of us. We handled that. On the way back, as it was turning to night, I noticed Lisa with her weapon out. She ran into the woods and I followed. Then Tang was there. And something broke out of the tree line. Another war forged. Another war forged? Yes. What do you mean? Are you sure? Certain? By the way, it fucking 100%. threw me about. Yeah. Is that why you were injured? Essentially, yes. He considered Lisa and I a threat. So we backed away, and as we were trying to return to Nortis to leave those two out to it, um, well, he got to us. If you want some more information on this, Lisa and I were... Well, I was trying to console Lisa on the bridge. There's been a lot going on recently. We heard the sounds of fighting over by the main road. We look over, and... The Warforged had completely ran through someone in white robes, tossed them to the side. I actually slaughtered them on the spot. I thought that it was an act of combat, and I wanted to help whoever was there. So I came out with my weapon drawn. When I got closer, I... That sounds like one of the rangers. 
Unfortunately, that makes sense. Sense? How? What would that make sense? <sighs> when we were confronting him, them, they were engaged in combat with the ranger. They ran him through and tossed him to the side, seeing a couple of elves around him probably wouldn't have been better. Tried to calm him down, and I was only able to after Kyler and Lisa had both vacated. He called his himself went away. Uh, Strider. Strider. He was jittering and stuttering the entire time. Name up before. He was in Fair Hollow. What? I don't remember this. Where was he seen? Ah, uh, the scribery. Apparently he was looking for me. Or at least I heard tell of it. There was rumor that he went to Fair Hollow searching for a warforged named Tang. Somewhere east. But when he got into Fair Hollow, somebody had told him that Tang had died during the first raids on the border. After that, I assume he returned here. Why would he be looking for you specifically? Wait, why? I think he was looking for a comrade. From how it stands, it seems that he's damaged. To the point where he was stuttering over his own words, repeating every single one twice. I've only seen that happen close, to his you face, once after dealing with trolls. His face was cracked. His eyes were blinking in and out, changing colors rapidly. It almost seemed like he was insane. Well, I don't want to seem insensitive. All right. But a war forged that is aggressive or hostile is a major threat. And if they are insane, they need to be dealt with. That's the thing. I don't know if they're completely insane or they are very sane. When we came across Marcus on the road, I'm biased. He injured and I Kyler. I know. If you had not intervened, would it have just been an injury? I don't know. After I dealt the one blow, it seemed to be more concerned about multiple foes. The ability to reason with it is there, though. And when you said I was kind of in and out of consciousness, and that you called me something, a kid, a child. I called you a child. It backed off. It's the reason was that that mission it said was to kill child. the elves. Specifically. Kill the elves? Uh, you were close, Tang. He said enemies were all around, and he needed to destroy all of them. And it worried him. his enemies? He pointed in the direction of the grove, I believe. Then he knows of the grove's existence. That isn't good. I, I've heard whispers that the grove was failing when I saw Miss Venora last. Are they outside He's the walls? Currently... Yes. Locked away. Awaiting orders. Awaiting help. <sighs> and if there is something wrong with him, do you think he'd stay there? Are you sure of this? So I'm with my own eyes. You said he sounded scared. He sounded injured. You said it yourself, that's how I sounded when we were dealing with trolls, stuttering over my own words. I was only he has not had anybody one. to treat his wounds. Badly damaged. Is he made out of the same thing you are? I didn't get a close enough look. He definitely had bits of armor, like, strapped to him, or maybe grafted to him. covered in a cloak and plate. 
He's lighter than Tang. Had a broken sword on its back. He was a lot faster than me too. Yeah. I couldn't even hear him when he was at a distance at least. He snuck up on me. <sighs> Tang, you would know, speaking as a DM, actually, let me roll something. Hmm. With a 19, he was noticeably less armored and noticeably a lot faster than you were. And when you were standing by the water side looking for him after you came back from bringing Kyler to the infirmary, you did not hear him come up behind you. He's another kind. What are you talking about? It was something mentioned by... God damn it. One of the Inquisitors back in Fair Hollow. Oh, fuck. All right, well, what did they say? He had... He had mentioned that I was not the only kind of Warforce they had dealt with before. There was other kinds. There was one with darker metals with yellow glowing parts that were able to move as silent as the night, built for stealth. He thought that I would be able to do the same thing. He was vastly wrong. But that gave me the idea that you can make them different. He might be one of these different types. He said that he was the only one left. What were those... Wasn't there those ones that people came across that kept, that kept saying protect Goldrick or something? The ones underneath Elrie. Here we go. Yeah. Frankly, I think that they were made much later. Warforged are vast variety. But what was weird is what? he knew the name Goldrick. It's... The main thing that I'm concerned about right now is the fact that he has... <laughs> He's on a mission to eradicate the enemy, the threats. And to my understanding, that threat is elven kind. Why? I was able to struggle. Sense. Or maybe he's so damaged he doesn't I told you know what I'm able the to remember anymore. At any point. Have I told you about the memories that I've had? Very sporadic and very little. <clears throat> well, the very short version, the one that will be easiest to understand, is one of the last things that I can remember. Is my family, everyone close around me, being slaughtered by elves. Are you sure of this? Green-tinged <laughs> armor, which seemed a lot lighter on you... the body than normally would be with plate. What do you mean, family? Like, I, I understand the... the closeness, Tang, but... You are a I was construct. Alive. Some long time ago, I don't know how long or where, or who, I was someone else. That someone had a family. A mother and father, maybe a brother or sister, I have no idea, but they were killed, and everything vanished in a large green light. Dang, that makes no sense. <sighs> Frankly, nothing really we... makes sense anymore. We love you just as much as any other of our family. And you are considered family. Actual family. But what you're saying doesn't make sense, my friend. You are built. Not born. As much as I would hate to believe that. And I actually was alive, that I had people that cared about me once upon a time and I'm stuck like this. As much as I would actually want to wish that I am actually this. I've always been this. 
ever since what happened beneath Bedaria, that wind. I'm not trying to agitate you. But this is not something that I understand or can grasp. As far as I have known and understood, war forts as few and far in between as they are. They, they are made, and eventually, for reasons we cannot explain, just one day go dark. And these memories could not be mine. Uh, all I will say is that Mirandelle has been saying that he has been seeing other people's memories as of late, and he's done it before, and that happened with Raylan when she touched some magic fucking rock and things like that. I don't know. I said I'm not trying to confuse you. I went on a complete tangent. I said since Tang was like a brother to me, and he's part of our family, that we would help with what we can. Absolutely. That goes without saying. Mm. I don't say the things that I do to be hurtful, Tang. I just do not understand. This would be... That doesn't make sense to me. Do you want the part that I was able to piece together with the sense I have? I've helped put your limbs back together. You cannot... You cannot do that with a living being. Maybe it's because not all of me is living. I know for a fact that you are one of the other, the only other people that believes that all of this mystical haberdashery is just ridiculous and it's hard to wrap your head around. It's not so much that, Tang. As it is that the one thing that I've learned from magic is the people who try to seek it out are usually not either the best people or those who are prepared for what they will find, and otherwise may get others hurt or killed. But I understand. I feel and... like it is all buried for a reason. I think so as well. But some of it can help. Some. I'm not going to talk your ear off about what I think is actually going on behind the mind of a Warforged. No, I, I value I... your counsel. I'm not going to pretend that I don't. For now, if it is all possible for you to do, I am not putting him or any of the other elves that we care about in harm's way. To my knowledge, Strider what? is friends to humans. He considers them allies to be protected. Why would you think this? Because Marcus stumbled upon us on the road. And when I thought Strider was going to attack Marcus like he was Kyler and Lisa, he didn't so much as touch his blade. And I have a question for you, Tang. What happens when you repair this Warforged and make them fully operable and discover that you cannot change their mind? If you were struggling with them, as you have said earlier, now them at full capacity This does not sound like a smart idea. I know. I 
know, but... If we repair him and we cannot convince him of allies amongst his threats, then he's a problem. Well, then he's a problem that we may not be able to deal with. Tang, if you decided to go rogue and hostile, you could kill every last one of us. We would not stand a chance. If this thing was faster than you, like you said, and you have fully repaired it, it would be able to do whatever the bloody well it pleases. Perhaps try and figure out what's wrong with it before you and Excuse me, Pen. That's what I will try to do. Honestly, assessing the damage is a good step to both. He kept saying something about names. I don't know if he was trying to get a list of enemies in the area, if he was trying to give them something. I have a thought. It's not very honest, but it might give you answers. If you can try to find out a way to trick it into thinking it needs to report to you. Make him believe that whatever it is that he has or is doing needs to tell it to you. Then you might be able to figure out where his head's at. Might. Maybe. It's a good idea. But I also say we do not know how intelligent he is. And if he is smarter than I am aware of, oh fuck my poor arm. <clears throat> how does it feel? If he's, if he's smarter than we realize he is, and he figures out what you're doing, he might become hostile anyway. I don't know enough about Warforge to be able to make that call. From what I remember, or at least what I know of myself, we're usually given a purpose. We do that purpose to impunity. Once it's done, we wait for their orders. Like the ones underneath Elri, they were meant to protect Master Galdrick. So they protected him and his teachings and findings, whatever they were underneath. Heard you know, you that is something... That. that is something that we've never spoken about that's been in the back of my mind that's bothered me. I have heard Venora and you and a handful of others talk very well about this Goldrick. But if what you just said has any truth to it, <clears throat> then how did he make those recent warforged you spoke about at Elry? I... There were prison cells. Hmm. Were there? Chains. Cages. <sighs> no one has ever brought that up other than once. And that was when you all initially returned. I 
believe that might be what people are having such difficulty making things like me. Chad. Never mind. I'm sure we will try and figure out some sort of answers in the near future. Remember that you already have to deal with a lot, and I didn't mean to talk you off about this. I was just trying to get a better explanation about as to why I ended up hurting your son. You didn't hurt my son. That's what I said. Saying there are a lot of people involved. I'm going to fix myself, excuse me. That are not exactly my friend. People that have abused my trust. People that have hurt my son. And people that are willing, or were willing, to burn everything to get as far as they did. You are not one of these people. I have told you before, and I will tell you again, that you have more humanity than most humans. Or elves. So while we all have faults, and perhaps you have some as well, this is not one of them. You needn't blame yourself for everything. And I mean that. I will try not to. I would hope not. It is best that you figure out what you can about this individual. Because if they are a threat and they do go crazy, we will not be able to fight them. That I know. That I'm if they are a threat and I cannot convince them that our allies are their allies, then... Then whatever needs to be done, to... we'll discuss it then. Right. I'm gonna get some rest, if that's okay. I figured Sorry to keep you up. up. It's okay. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Both of you. I'll come and see Once I you. figure it out. Good talking with you both. Oh, and as if it's still downstairs. I'll talk to them shortly. Walking with you to your room, that's all. Oh, I, um, I heard rumors of a dock up the river a bit more. Disused. Most boat captains wouldn't trust docking there. I figure if there's shipments going in, that might be the place. Just a little north of Palermo. Then we'll investigate it tomorrow. Yeah. It's coming down soon.
Good night.